Hello y'all, how's it going? It's uh, TJ Denzer, Senior News Editor for ShackNews.com, and as always, your host, supplier, and purveyor of fine indies here on a little show we like to call Indielicious. It's a show where uh, once a week we bring you one, the newest and latest indies in the indie gaming scene. And this week we have Fall of Porcupine. You may have seen this game last Thursday. It was part of our Shack News E7 and delicious showcase. Uh, very proud moment for me. I was very happy to assemble that thing for the most part um, with some help from some very uh, very good uh, colleagues. Greg Burke did a great job of getting that thing together. And we had a ton of uh, cool indie developers and publishers that submitted some awesome games. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely go check it out. It was a great showcase of awesome games that are going to be coming out now and soon and in the and in the future um and this is one of them fall of porcupine this comes to us from uh, critical rabbit who uh as well as uh, the publishers at assemble entertainment um and uh it is the story of a guy who grew up uh, who, who went to med school and uh didn't exactly turn out the way they planned. But there are also strange and interesting things going on in their town. We're going to find out what those things are, shall we? Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, self-doubt, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. Definitely that last one, too. <laughs> a little, uh, a little under, a little weirdly, uh, underused that last one these days. Ba-boom! 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 This party is uh, a little bit crazy. Somebody should turn on the lights. Uh oh. Is it me? Is the EKS on me? Oh no. It stopped. Is that good? Is my heart stopping? Oh, my eyes glow in the dark. That's kind of creepy. I can jump. I can walk. What do we have in here? Aha! Out of the darkness into the light. Into a cloud. This is not where... <laughs> yeah, it did have horror game vibes for a little bit there, did he? It is a horror game about healthcare. <laughs> Whenever healthcare is involved, everything is horror. Especially these days. Hey, Finley, nice to see you at last. Uh-oh, what button do I press? Ah, okay. Why the long face? I'm just a cool flower hanging out here in a cool flower meadow. Oh, no reason. I'm just completely batshit crazy is all. I wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant here. Who were you expecting? Your washing machine, perhaps? By the way, we need to talk about her. The very the way my pop vibrates when you set her to spin. No, I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh really? What would that be? I have no idea. Don't we all? But it was important, and I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember what it was, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure it can wait, buddy. You think so? 
Of course. Come on, relax. Would your house plant and your subconscious lie to you? Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright warm sun, this wonderful soothing music. How can you worry when you see that? Yeah, that's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music though. Oh yeah, wait a minute. He's going into his pot to turn up the jams. There we go. Better? Yeah. I like this. Cooler Mundo. Just let your leaves dangle. Leave your worries by the wayside. Yes. Yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great. That's what I want to hear. Lost things always turn up eventually. So go find your comfy, yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home. I might do that. I'm going to have a look around. It's so beautiful here. I want to peck out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax, you fa your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Fino! What was that last bit? I'm gonna jump around in the meadow. Yeah! Huh? Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. It's been like five seconds. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? We literally just talked a second ago. Uh, I have no idea. I don't have a clue what you're talking about, dude. Oh, it's not important. I'm just here to help you relax. That's why I need to know how you're doing, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. So what are you going to do now? I don't know just yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him. That's Hugo. We went to university together. Pedal University or PU. He's great to climb on. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore though. Not since I got aphids. Ugh. Want to give it a try? Yeah, I don't want to touch you. That's all. But I don't think you can get past this giant flower. Hold on. We'll have. Hold on. We'll have that sorted in no time. Oh. See? No problem at all. I don't know if I trust this whole dude, this uh, flower dude. My house plant is a little bit too helpful. No problem. The whole ground was shaking. Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him. And don't break any of his pet leaves off. He prides himself on his great foliage, you know. Uh-huh. Well, let's climb. Um, why does it say A? Ah. 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 Um, yeah. There we go. Yep. I don't know if... Am I supposed to go up there? It looks like there's a pot up there. Oh, um, maybe not. Hello, Finstar! Up here! Oh, how'd you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe just dive in the water? Seriously? I thought we were just going to chill. Besides, it looks pretty neat. I think it is, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just wanted to check it out. Whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more of a partial shade kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overwater and aphids. Chicken. Why did he go? That's your houseplant, dude. Be nicer to him. Eh. 
and now we're in water. Oh, is he down here too? You made it after all. You know me. I never pass up a good time. Are you alright? I'm going to catch a cold. They will need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my taxes. The water's lovely. I don't know what you're going on about. No. I don't like water. Do you mean to stop watering you then? That's different. You wouldn't understand. It's a flower thing. Actually, maybe we could get out of here? Alright, alright. You know the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? You hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it? No response. How rude! I hate it when statues don't talk back to me. And then you have to scream at them. These are things that happen and they're very normal. The Finmeister! There you are! What took you so long? You're looking better again. Hey, who could be down when you're at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears? You feel the first tickle of photosynthesis kick in? Just playing things. Hashtag just playing things. There's nothing like it, man. I can't get enough. I forget everything around me. Who are you again? Finley, you live with me. Pina gave you to me. You're from her flower store. Finley, fondly, dingly, dongly. It's all the same to me right now. Oh, yeah. This seems kind of familiar. Have you been here before? Maybe, but not like this. You sure do have some strange notions. So have you found what you're looking for yet? No. But I don't know that I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Well, congratulations! You found someone! Your very best flower buddy. Now grab yourself a drink and lie down in the sand. We haven't had a vacation in a long time. He has sprouts claws from his hand in a gross red and black turtleneck sweater. And it's Edward, uh, er, sorry, it's, uh, Freddy Krueger. He says illustrative curse words at me. I'll be right there. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for over here on the beach. Alright, but don't get sunburned. Oh, sorry. There we go. After all, I'm not an aloe vera. Woo! Ooh. Oh. That was unexpected. I thought it would get a little bounce, not a... Just sent into the stratosphere bounce. Ingrid, nice to see you here. You have to know where... Where Mr. Arndez is? Mr. Arndez, I was looking for Mr. Arndez. He's a patient of ours. And he's disappeared. I was taking the elevator. But something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Arndez. Otherwise something will happen to him. Sorry, Ingrid. You know how much I enjoy our conversations. Where I talk literally the entire time and you don't even get a chance to answer before I move on. But I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Arndiz. We'll catch up again soon. I promise. Bye. Bing. What is over here? Nothing. Hmm. Oh. This dream sequence is getting creepier and weirder by the second. Mr. Arndez has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndez. Can you hear me? Not that way. 
Oh my gosh, can I glide because I'm a bird? I can! I can glide because I'm a bird! <laughs> That's funny. Of course I can. Why not? Uh oh. Hello, is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... There's someone back there. Mr. Arndez, is that you? Oh, Mr. Arndez? Mr. Arndez? Look at me, I can glide, Mr. Arndis. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Well, that's blood. It's still fresh. <laughs> maybe this is still a, maybe this is a horror game? <laughs> oh. Oh. Mr. Arndis, you're bleeding! Don't move! Uh, who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm gonna help you. <laughs> Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh dear. Bonk. Oh no! Oh <laughs> jeez! That's quite a cold open. Is that why there's an EKG on me? Is is am I uh Oh eh. Hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe you'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me about what happened. Coral. Hmm. Hey, friendly, here's my number. Feel free to come to me if you have any questions. Yesterday was fun. You're a cool guy. Let's get back to Gilbert's next time. Our road is here. Why not? Okay. So he's looking after this Mr. Arndes pal. Okay. Man, another one of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. It feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. Ugh. hate dreaming about hit, getting hit in the face with boxes and then waking up with a band-aid on my forehead. Okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. Mm. This guy just has nightmares of being hit in the face with a box over and over. There you are, just standing in your pot as if nothing happened. You've given me quite a restless night. It's alright for you, you don't have to go to work. If I find beach sand in your pot tonight, there'll be trouble. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kicked my butt in one on one Viking battles. I figured I could should treat my I could treat myself to gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Okay. Le huh? Oh, oh. He's a fast-changing boy. I got a heap of mail when I first moved in here. Porcupine isn't big, but big, but it's still kind of nice. A bus timetable, a sightseeing guide, a trial subscription news to the to the daily newspaper. Maybe I'll become a newspaper reader one day, like a weirdo. Then I can buy a pair of glasses, like Ingrid's.
What have we got here? Some people have a bakery within walking distance or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. game is very pretty. I like the watercolor and like sort of construction paper style. Bike's been there since I moved in. So either someone moved and forgot it, or it's just not biking season here. If it's still here there when winter comes, I'll take it up, I'll take it with me and get it fixed up. Morning, Finley! Running late? Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Most nights I don't dream at all. But sometimes I dream on that I'm running, just on the spot, for no reason. That definitely comes from work. Oh, my God, she has running in her sleep dreams. She's probably kicking her legs in bed and everything. I heard Louis Colbert is having trouble sleeping, too. He's worried about the store. People don't just buy as much stationery as they used to. I mean, I'm not complaining, less for me to carry, right? Are you doing your rounds already? Come on, you know me better than that. I'm already finished. Just wondering what to have for lunch. Lunch? You really have an odd routine. Well, the post won't post itself. True, but I should. Post myself at the hospital, that is. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. That's what happens when you don't know the town as well as I do. Mm -hmm. uh... Hmm. Okay. Moving on. So the notes tell you a little bit of stuff about the people that you come across. There's a note here. Unfortunately, the citizen's bus is out until further sir is out of service until further notice. We ask for your understanding. Look on the bright side. With fuel prices the way they are, walking's the better option anyways. We hope to see you traveling with us again soon. Suits me just fine. Why don't I buy a monthly pass if the bus only turns up once a month? I have vibes like that right now in my current complex, actually. From here, I can get to the old town in the high street. It's weird what passes for a high street in a small town. All I know is that Pena's store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. The old town lives up to its name, at least. Small, crooked, old houses. The town hall, the town fountain. And Gilbert's, of course. The best and only pub in Porcupine. And best two of all, both routes lead to St. Ursula's Hospital. That sounds like I should go this way. I'll take the high road and you'll take the low road and we'll play Fall of Porcupine before ye. I'm gonna glide! I find it funny that they actually added the uh, option for you to glide because you were a bird in this game. It's a funny little bit of uh, flavoring. Look at this wonderful woman! Goodness, you're a fast walker! Are you being chased by a wall? Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, I'm just running late. Late for the fight, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I just started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes. Oh, well, almost. A junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what porcupine needs. 
My name is Adele von Winterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest and most racist citizen. I've seen people, <laughs> many people come and go. Some are in a hurry. Some have stayed to this day. Look at the, I mean, maybe she's just a nice old lady. I don't, I, I don't, I shouldn't jump to conclusions about somebody that old and that, uh, well off. Because I definitely see a pearl necklace and a brooch on her, and a, and a silk scarf, and a fancy looking feather. Which, where did she get that feather? <laughs> it's kind of weird of a person to be wearing a feather of another species that's standing, that whose family is standing right in front of her. You, I'm guessing you're the hurry type. Am I right, Doctor? Yo, arm squires. Yes, but only because I need to get to work. Well, one should never throw rocks into rushing rapids. But when you have a moment sometime, I know a lot about this town. You can always ask me if you have questions. I might just take you up on that. Thanks for the offer. I see it as my calling. But for now, I'll keep my head at exactly one foot in the grave per hour. There are younger folk than me to keep alive here. Graceful, elegant, eccentric. I met her this morning at the market. She seems to know a lot about Porcupine's history. I never cared much for history myself, but I'd love to know a bit about my new hometown. If I find the time, I should talk to her more. That's Gilbert's. It's a pretty nice place to go. Not that there are any alternatives, really. I'll be back here soon enough. Good morning, Giuliano. A long time no see, Finley. He looks like a slick. He looks like a, a mid-aged slick back. Yeah, well, I was. Yeah, well, I was laid up in bed for a while. Thought as much. The band dead gives you away. Everything good with you? I'll be all right. Yeah, I'm sure you will. You want to cool that lump on your head with a nice cold, cold drink? Just come by any time, okay? Thanks, Juliana. I might just take you up on that. Yeah. Uh, wait, why is it... Why did it... Why does it go right to the top? That's weird. Hello. That's the Big Town Fountain. It's a statue of Minoslav Hort Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine. What's up, Nino? Why isn't the water running? Seems to be broken. There's a bear, there's a care bear up ahead of some kind. This rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. It's locked too. Suspicious. What are you hiding, rusty old truck? Treasure perhaps? A dead body? Maybe even ten dead bodies. Is there super secret te alien technology inside of you? Are you the truth of all things? The answer to the great questions of the universe? Come on, reveal your secrets! It's just a... It's just a, a coked up Stephen King in there, writing his next book. I'm gonna go up on this bench. How do I... I can't sit. I can't sit on the bench. Okay, nothing down here. Oops. Wait, what was that? There's a plaque on the tree. 
This ancient park has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Inoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. He reached this place after wandering for 100 days. He found the town and, and built himself a house. And on the day he wanted to move in, he lost his keys. Forty days later, he, he found them on this very spot. Sounds like something I would do. What, we use your keys and found a town? Seems a little uh, like an odd structure of events. How many of us don't... Who among us don't, haven't lost of our keys and just found a town? Good morning, Mr. Bus Stop. I'd love to have... I'd, I'd love to have been hopping off here some time ago. Coffee in hand and nice and relaxed. Well, maybe tomorrow. You can't slack... Oh, coffee sounds good right now. <laughs> and installed a plaque to celebrate. That is correct. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for the follow, uh, and thank you for the subscription, uh, kind of ours. Much appreciate. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. Hehe. <laughs> and thank you for the bits, arm squares. Very much appreciate. The statue's out here every day. From dawn until dusk, come rain or shine, it's never complained. How do you do it? Regular sleep, probably. Balanced meals. Exercise three times a week. It's a statue, dude. It's not that deep. Well, a guy can dream. Yay, hospital time. What's this? The hospital isn't huge. Still, you can get lost from here, here from time to time. It's not a problem until you accidentally end up on the operating table. That's why you should always pay attention to the signs, kids. How do I... Oh, wait. Is there something down here before I go there? There's a parking. Oh, well. What's over here, though? Oh, I should get to work. Wee wee. There's a three in that tree, but it's backwards. A good old vending machine. A handy source of breakfast. Or an end of shift reward. Of course, it's been broken since ever since I started here. But hey, it's important to have constraints on life, constants in life. Still, I wouldn't say no to chalk dog right now. To a chalk dog right now. Every morning they gleam through the glass, laughing at me, just like they've been doing since before I was even born, and will still be doing after long, long after I'm gone. They'll all love us all. Thousands of years in that from now, alien beings will dig up this vending machine. What was this machine's purpose? What primitive civilization created it? That's when they'll ask themselves. Perhaps with their, <laughs> perhaps with their advanced technology, they'll be able to get all the t get at the tasty treats. You got a long way to go, vending machine. That was an intensely uh, spiritual, uh, uh, or, or like, <laughs> that was a deep trip he went on with that vending machine. Morning, kiddo. See you back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Uh, yeah, go for it. This might sound complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times, and it all makes sense. So, what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have been something to do with you, specifically. Really? What, is it, what do you mean? Well, 
We have a name for that kind of thing around here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. Oh. Just kidding, kiddo. <laughs> and how's Mr. Arndes? The old duffer's still alive. Making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. You've only been here a short while, but because of that night, people know you now. You're the boy who survived. Very funny. Eh. But seriously, people might have questions for you. Just so you know, better be prepared. Anyway, my coffee's getting cold. And you need to swing your butt over to your ward. On the third floor, in case you the, the dit in your noggin caused more damage than you thought. I know where my ward is. That's good. Hop to it, then, before Dr. Krakowski rips your head off. You're right. I'll get going. Oops. Okay. Okay. So I want to go up to the third floor. Whoa, did I pass through? Thought I stopped. Oh, is this the back door? Who's these guys? Hey, good morning. Morning. You're new, right? I haven't seen you around, and we know everybody. Right, everyone. I'm not exactly new, but I was off sick for a few days. Same story every time. The rookies always get sick right away. Right away. I was in an accident. Clumsy too, huh? He hasn't even introduced himself properly yet. Introductions first, that's the way. I'm Dimmy. This guy next to me is Archie. Eh. <laughs> we do the emergency call-outs. But we handle patient trans standard patient transport, too. That's right. I'm Finley. I'm one of the new interns in Internal Medicine 1. Oh, I see. With Mr. Krakowski. Sounds like you hit the jackpot. Yeah, I know it's pretty tough. Tough? Krakowski's great. Oh, yeah. Super great. What are you hanging around? What are you hanging around here for, then? Yeah, what for? Better head upstairs before you find yourself a head shorter. Besides, we're busy right now. Yeah, real busy. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Nice to meet you guys. Whatever. What's over here? Trash and an armadillo. Good morning, Gregor. How are you? Him. Busy? The week's only just started and the place already stinks like a dumpster fire. The stench of Sergei's food will be stuck in my nose all day. Did no one come to pick up the trash? Do I look like a garbage truck to you? Doesn't look like it. I didn't mean... Darn right you didn't. Otherwise you'd be getting a much closer look at that dumpster right now. I hope your day's more relaxed from here on out. I could help with that, you know. Really? How can I help you? Don't leave garbage lying around. Don't make a mess. Don't break anything. That's it. Three very simple rules. And all these fancy doctors just don't get it. I'll remember. Please. You've no idea how long it took uh, to clean up the mess after your accident. That was you? Who do you think? Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> Okay, we met some some unhelpful EMS moose and janitor Dillo, the fancy janitor Dillo. Eh? What's your deal? Did you run into a wall? No, I had an accident a few days ago. Ah, you're the new guy, Frankie, Philip, Franco, Finley. 
Finley. Right, right. Heard about your little episode. Seems you made quite the scene. Still, look on the bright side. With how rotten everything is up here, you're lucky you didn't fall through the floorboards. You'd have landed right in our ward on the first floor. I'm Antonin Nurse. Upstairs on... I'm Antonin Nurse. Upstairs on Internal Medicine too. Anyway, I gotta go. Mind your step, Funky. Jeez. This is the cafeteria. I don't have time for breakfast right now. I can already feel Krakow Dr. Krakowski's in... <laughs> what did... Nah, I better not risk it. I'm sorry, I was distracted by the pelican wandering back with the gullet full of whatever. Now I want to know. I want to see. What do you do? What do you do? Oh. Aw. Uh -huh. Aha! Now where do you go with all that? Oh. Mmm. This leads down to the basement. I think that's where the lab and documents are, archives are. And loads of dust, probably. I can already feel a sneeze coming on. Okay, so I think I wanted to go up to the third floor? Administration is on the second floor. Chief Physician Dr. Theopold's office is up here. I haven't introduced myself to him yet, but that'll have to wait. I need to do my rounds. Are there human organs in here? If so, I hope no one needs them anymore. We had a special refrigerator for organs back at the university. Storage was never an issue. You just had to watch what you were doing when the summer barbecue came around. Ew! Uh, I, I hate that implication. Here's the surgical room. I'll stop out here another time. <laughs> also, why do they have human organs? There's no humans. Hmm. Human organs in a barbecue, huh? <laughs> How far will it let me go? That far. Hmm. Adorable. Ah, Fenley. Half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late. Again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Yes, I'm sorry. I... The bus is unreliable. It cannot be trusted. Find a way to get here on time before we can decide we cannot trust you. Got it. Yes, got it. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. If it's not too much trouble, we'll begin our rounds in 301. So here's Mrs. Ma Miss Martin. Good morning. You're very late today. Ah, uh, Miss Martin. A woman after my own heart. Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin. Can't... Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in the heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. I was in so much pain I could hardly move. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas, Mia? Me? Well... Come on, spit it out. Uh, uh, yes? An ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? 
my answer. Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin. We'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check on your readings again later. Just try to relax. Fedley, you take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue to room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. Ouch. Dying hurts. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doktorski. It's quite, it's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night. That's right, careful. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, very good. How's it going? Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Yes, I can do that. That's okay. Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. But I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It has green wheels and grip tape and is all black and brand new. I don't know why I purchased to make this person Russian right away. I guess because of Dr. Ski. I heard the other skaters scratch up their board on purpose to make it cooler. I don't get that. My board has a big picture of a robot on the bottom. It's way too cool. I don't want to scratch that up. Very good. But what were you all doing down at school? Ah, uh, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Cristo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said if you want to be a good skater, you got to smoke too. It's all part of the deal, he said. I didn't really want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken or a pigeon in scrubs. You know what I mean? I still was, uh, I was still out of breath practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get to why grown up seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed and coughed, but couldn't even get in the air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called the Nami Let's Quickly. So yeah, that's it, really. Thank you, Larissa. You explained it all very well. Well then, care to share your opinions, my value colleagues? What do you think, family? Hmm. I know. Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't give it away, Larissa. Oh, okay. Sorry, Dr. Ski. <laughs> Asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant Larissa, you probably wouldn't have got, thought of it, though. Eh. Okay. You got it, Dr. Krukowski. Okay, last stop is for today is P33. Oh, and friendly? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arnez. Arndez. I assume the name rings a bell. Mr. Arndez, yes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. Mr. Arndez is an old-timer. Even discounting his recent injuries, his head isn't in the best shape anymore. So act accordingly. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Do, do you know when breakfast is served around here? Mm, haven't you had breakfast already? Maybe. <laughs> okay, bye! Not gonna answer your question, bye! Um, where's the P33? If you're lucky, it's clean. Sometimes you can hear faint whimp whimpering noises coming from the stalls. I've been told that's completely normal. Uh... <laughs> I 
think he said P33? Yes. Everything would be fat, just fine, Mr. Hernandez. This matter is very important to me, and I'll ensure it's resolved as quickly as is resolved quickly. You can be rest assured of that. Ah, Dr. Krakowski. Nice to see you. Good, minute. Good morning, Mr. Heinrich. To what do the, uh, we owe the honor? Why, Mr. Ardez, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. This incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I know that, yes. I've been sweating blood myself. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective. But I was also very worried about our patient, of course. Let's not forget our junior doctor here. Ready to throw yourself back into the fray? Yes, I'm doing well, thank you, Mr. Heinrich. It's great to have you back. Truly, I admire your dedication. It goes without saying that I don't blame you for the accident. Nobody's, nobody at St. Ursula's does. St. Ursula's itself is responsible for this accident. As such, we will be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arnez to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we're secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He will be well looked after here around the clock. The rest will also help his the rest will also help his age related dementia. Speaking of Jesus gave us heavy. <laughs> Just gonna drop some dementia in here while we're at it. Speaking of which, I'm glad to have bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh really? Yes indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndez's condition later today? If you could discharge it with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange for the transport right away. Understood. I'll take a look and let you know. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well then, I won't keep you any longer. All of our time is precious. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff to overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. Here's to a stressful, successful day. Yes. Anyway. Good morning, Mr. Undes. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes. Yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndez. What are you doing here, then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. What's lunch to that? Straight after this. Okay, then go ahead. Finley. Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arndez suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndez's dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can take a look at the. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? You can ask Mr. Arndez if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. Prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. Jeez. <laughs> Show up thirty minutes late for a shift, and the guy just gives it, grills you like a. He's watching me, too. I see his eyes just following me as I go. Good morning, Mr. Arndez. I'm very pleased to see you. Mm -hmm. Do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident. Do you remember? I didn't want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndez? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndez. Now let him rest and do your job. I just... Okay. Your patient is in your hands. 
Press the buttons on the screen to administer treatment. Okay. So we got ourselves a Simon Says situation. Aha, I see. Oh, this is going to be hard. There we go. Whew. Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. We'll be back to check on you to later to check your readings. But there's a chance we'll be able to discharge you very soon. That would be nice, Miss Fairkowski. Doctor. No, no, I'm not a doctor, just an absent-minded old fool. Oh, dear. We're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you your tasks for today's shift. Mr. Andes, I... Gim crack, gim a creak, gim blubbering blutter. I'm sorry? Sure you are. Well, time for me to get back to work. My jam won't make itself, and I can't be late today. It will soon, Mr. Andes. I wish the best. I wish you the best of luck. And actually, that's we're gonna we're gonna have to call it for today because we're up on against our time. <laughs> um, we didn't get too far, but we did set the story, and uh, it looks like there's more at play than might meet the eye. I'm really interested to see where this one goes. And maybe you might be too. Uh, Fall of Porcupine is out now. It's out on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, uh, Nintendo Switch, and PC, which is what we played it on today. Um, thank you all for watching. If you uh, really liked what you saw, maybe consider throwing us a follow. If you really liked what you saw, maybe a subscribe is in order. Don't forget that if you happen to have an Amazon Prime account, you can link it up to your Twitch account and get yourself a free subscription each month to use as you please. Um, if you want to throw that our way, it really helps us out. We really appreciate it. Uh, and of course, if you want to see everything that we're up to, you want to head over to shacknews.com. That's the reason for the season. That's where all of our news, all of our reviews, all of our features, all of our previews, that's where everything lives that is Shack News related. Uh, and we just launched a fun new feature. We are doing our own sort of social media. You may have seen Cortex, but now it has a cool shouts feature in which you can make posts just as you would on Facebook and Twitter. Just sort of spout your feelings, share your video, share video clips, share some music you've been listening to, whatever you feel like. If you want to shout into the void, shouts got you covered. Um, and also, follow us on the we while we still are working on shouts, we are also still on the socials. You'll find us on Shack News on Twitter, Shack News on Facebook, Shack News Media on Instagram, and even Shack News on TikTok. We are pushing the boundary of what our media can do, and we are exploring all opportunities and all and all ways in which we can do it the best for your viewing pleasure. And speaking of viewing pleasure, be sure to check out our video content on the YouTubes. It's at Shack News Games and Shack News Interviews. Uh, those are the two places where you'll find all of our stuff. If you're looking for gameplay, uh, video game reviews, and even unboxings and stuff like that, you'll want to go to Shack News Games. If you want to see interview content, such as most of our E7 stuff, in which we talk to the Deceive Inc. crew, the, the creators of the, of the Hunter, uh, Call of the Wild, um, the Duke Nukem Restoration Project, uh, you'll find that stuff over on Shack News Interviews. Um, and that'll just about do it. Thank you all for watching today. This has been TJ Denzer, Senior News Editor for ShackNews.com, and as always, once a week, your host, supplier, and purveyor of fine indies here on Indelicious. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Have fun. Be cool. Play more indies, y'all. We'll see you next week.